Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. As I wrap up my day, I promised you as always another great guest. I've got PBS award-winning document, documentary anthology series, independent lens premiere, and a groundbreaking eight-part docuseries that's going to take place. And you have an opportunity to hear the Philadelphia District Attorney, Larry Krasner. Larry, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me, Valder. It's a real pleasure to be here. You're shaking up things in your office. You are doing something that's very different. Tell me about this docu-series and tell me why you, why, why are you being a game changer? Well, um, I think there's a whole team of us being game changers and the biggest team is the voters in the city of Philadelphia because they chose reform three years ago when they elected a complete political outsider, that was me, uh, to help with their movement. We In the United States right now, 10% of the population has elected a progressive prosecutor. People don't realize that, uh, but it is growing. Every election cycle, we're seeing more and more progressive prosecutors elected for good reason, which is that criminal justice in the United States went off the rails a long time ago, and the land of freedom somehow became the most incarcerated nation in the world, more incarcerated than countries we laugh at because we consider them authoritarian. The damage it has done to our public schooling, to our mental health system, to uh, you know, economic development, to job training, the damage it has done is almost immeasurable. And we need to go back to an American society where what we do is we try to prevent crime instead of causing it to happen and then crushing it by putting people in jail. It just doesn't work to lock everybody up. We need to go towards prevention. Well, how do we go from preventing crime to just incarcerating people just in a capsule because there, there's no more job training programs. There's there's no programs to help people move upward. There used to be programs called Upward Bound and all those programs have gone by the wayside. So how did we get to this point? Great question. How do we get to the point where we don't have school nurses? How do we get to the point where we don't have public school counselors? How do we get to the point where so many of our arts programs in our public schools have been cut how do we get to the point where we have completely underfunded athletic programs in our public schools and we have classes of 35 kids when we could have classes of 17, which would make teaching so much more doable? The answer is we made a huge money fire in the criminal justice system. It costs about $50,000 to put a human being in a cell for a year. And if they do something violent and terrible, it's worth it. But the fact is so much of what we've done in the last 40 years has been to take poor people on nonviolent offenses and have a money fire by keeping them in jail for no good reason. They come out often worse off than when they went in. There has been no rehabilitation that's going to solve whatever issue got them in contact with the criminal justice system in the first place. This is a terrible politics of fear that has turned into terrible national policy. It needs to be reversed. The good news, though, is the crushing weight of mass incarceration has been so heavy that everybody feels it. It doesn't matter whether someone in your family has been incarcerated unnecessarily and excessively because everybody's got a high school friend this happened to or a coworker, or maybe it happened to your neighbor or your neighbor's kid, your neighbor's boss, your fourth cousin. Everybody has been touched by this, uh, frankly, plague of mass incarceration. Everybody understands. We have to take the money out of what does not work and we have to put it into things that are smart and that prevent crime the same way we do with medicine. When we look at this PBS uh, docuseries, what are we going to see? What is going to light that spark in, in people in power? Because a lot of time the spark is lit, but it's not the people in power. Well, the, the spark I want to see lit is in the people who are not in power, but should be. Okay. I, I was not a politician. At 56 years of age, I had gotten a lot of justice for individuals 
but I had not seen improvement in the system. In fact, what I saw for 30 years was more and more people being locked up, more and more for sale signs on the sides of public school buildings in Philadelphia. And I'm not kidding, they were selling our public school buildings at the same time they were building brand new courthouses, right? We have to do this differently. And I think what they will see is that ordinary people can go into government and take the back power and make it work for them. Ordinary people can succeed in an election that everybody thought was impossible. You know, when I mentioned that 10% of the U.S. now has a progressive prosecutor, those weren't career politicians. Most of those folks were people who never even thought of running for office. But there came a moment when they needed to be the technician who could serve the movement, who knew where the nuts and bolts were so they could fix that broken car. That's what they needed to be. That's what we are. But the important news here is not about us. We are ordinary people. The important news here, and you'll see it in this docu-series, is that ordinary people can take back government and make it work for them, both in criminal justice, but in other ways as well. I can't wait to see you in action, Mr. Krasner. You come with a stellar reputation for being a fair, equal, civil rights person. I can't wait. When do you want us to watch the docuseries on PBS? Well, I believe it is premiering on April the 20th uh, on your local PBS station. I think for PBS members, you're able to actually binge watch it as of April the 20th. Uh, and I think it's also available through Amazon. So there are a few oh, we ways. love binge watching. Thank you for that note. Larry Krasner, I will be watching you because I believe you are a change maker. I'm so glad that you came into the sphere of the Valder BB show audience so they can watch you also. Thank you so much for who you are and what you do. Valder, thank you. It's really wonderful to speak to you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.